And so we went to the Henry Dury Zoo while we were in Omaha, Nebraska, and it is hands down one of the coolest zoos we've ever seen. But they had this thing called the Desert Dome, and it was such a gigantor dome. Which to the animals is their home, but in reality is their prison. It's like this big, self-sufficient world with its own ecosystem. And in some ways I feel like we're in that right now. Imagine the globe surrounded by barbed wire. We're in this kind of a prison planet with all the things that have been going on in the world. It is clearly not a free place like it used to be. Uh, and during the time with everything we were living through with lockdowns and mandates and restrictions, it really felt like we were prisoners in our own homes. Yeah, when the lockdown hit and then it was at the highest point, there was, there was curfew in Los Angeles at least. Woo! It was really bad, especially in Australia, New Zealand. It just rocked everyone in our house. It was just so like dark and depressing in our house. It was kind of just like, everyone was like, Ooh. and. I really felt like this song couldn't be depressing. We needed something uplifting. I needed something uplifting amidst the darkness. I think different locations had different ways of handling the pandemic, but places like LA was really strict and shut down. They had uh, a lot of lockdowns, mask mandates and vaccine requirements. And it affected your job and it, it, your ability to have a job. It affected how you can travel. I got stuck in Brazil for almost two years because of the pandemic. We started to do a lot of online things, you know, we did master class and everything. But at some point the band come back to play, but I am not able to travel to America because the border is closed. And I heard a phrase one day, and it was prison planet. I was like, oh snap, that's what's happening. And Mark sent me all of his lyric and concept ideas, and I was tasked with turning them into a song. I was talking to different pastors, and I was like, man, we're really gonna see the change in this nation, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And one pastor said, Mark, I don't know if, you, if you're reading the same book I am, but in Revelation, things get worse and worse and worse. So I was inspired by Jesus' words when he said to his disciples, in this world, you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And we need to prepare for that. Prepare your hearts for him, prepare the way of God. Preparing by trying to bring as many people to Christ as possible. That's why I wrote Prison Planet. The verse that we took for this was Hebrews 13, 14, and it says, for here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come. Um, the city that is to come, meaning heaven, being with Christ. This is horrible, but this, this is not my home. I'm going home one day to a brand new place, to a new place, to a better place, to a perfect place where there's no suffering, no death. And the real thing that I want to do is I want to take you with but there's hope and that hope is in Jesus and he's an anchor and so the whole song is about yeah you see these things happening in the world but I'm going, I'm going home to a place so this place here on earth is not my home. And, and one of the lines that I love it's, it, it, it's, it's listing all this stuff that's going on in, in the world right now or was going on in the last year or two it says revelation that I can see Essentially, this revelation is becoming fulfilled. Right now, we are being prepped and we're being prepared to accept the fact that we won't have the freedoms to buy or sell without a mark someday. Then the chorus is just reminding us that this prison planet that we've been living in, regardless if it's been the time of a pandemic or not, this prison planet that we're living in is not our home. And so we can't get too comfortable here. We do have to be good sojourners. We gotta be wise with what the Lord has given us. We do have to endure what has happened and what will happen in the future. But overall, we gotta know that this is a temporary thing. Christ has overcome this world and he will one day take his bride home. Okay, that can work. 
because this reminds me of a very specific song from Steel Pulse. And another thing that inspired me to write this song was Steel Pulse, one of my favorite reggae bands of all time. Wild Goose Chase by Steel Pulse is absolutely iconic. That groove. And they were talking about how they thought the destruction of creation would happen through nuclear war and this and that, but it's happening through science and different things like that. And I thought, what if we did an answer to that today? An answer that dealt not just with that, but with the hope that we have according to the book of Revelation. We should encourage each other with this, knowing that we may not know exactly what happens next, but we know what happens last. We know how it ends. And we know things aren't falling apart. They're coming together according to God's perfect plan.